While cancer has many challenges associated with the disease, there is also the challenge of the unknown. Many people don't even want to know they have cancer. And as Ryan Bechu tells us, it's not only about fear. If you had cancer, would you like to know? For many, that question has no easy answer. If you don't know, you don't have to worry about it. Stephanie Sabga is a mental health counselor with the TNT Cancer Society. Here, she meets two types of patients. Sometimes the fear of being diagnosed with cancer, it can go two ways, with the screenings with cancer. So sometimes people choose to do the screenings in order to find out if something is wrong, and sometimes people choose to not do the screenings because they don't want to know. So it really is a personal choice, and it could go both ways, but when you don't know, you don't have to face it. But it's not just fear. She tells us non-testing can go far deeper than the fright of knowing. Sometimes it's a lack of education, um, a lack of knowledge about cancer. Maybe there's nobody teaching them about the importance of the regular routine screenings. Carla Thomas knows all too well what Sabga is talking about. She is a cancer survivor of six years. It went through my head that, hey, probably I would die just now, you know? I start putting things in place. You know, for my children and granddaughter. It was October 2013, Breast Cancer Month. Settling into sleep one night, Thomas was about to have a nightmare. A voice telling me to examine my breasts. And I listen to the voice and I get it again. So I said, um, well, I'll lie down on my bed and I examine my breasts. I didn't feel any pain or anything. And when I examined my breast, I bounced up on a lump. That lump would change her life forever. I'm so young and cancer boy. Luckily, she was one who got tested immediately. So a positive result meant surgery the same day. Six years later, she's still around because of her one brave decision. This doesn't have to be a life, a death sentence for you. While the result may not be the one you want, Sabga says surviving starts with knowing. If you are able to do the testing and the screenings early, then with the early detection, you're able to get the necessary medical help that you need. If you wait and you put off getting the testing done, then you're facing more problems later down the road where maybe the cancer is gonna spread, you know, you're gonna have to do more medical treatment maybe. It is more of a mental battle than that of a physical. And Sabga suggests a new approach to thinking. It is important that we retrain our minds almost. We build these new patterns in order to focus on maybe if we do get tested, then we can find a solution instead of just focusing on the problem. It's a problem plaguing mankind, but an early detection could determine life or death. Ryan Bechu, CNC3 News. Such potent advice and really at the center of all that we've been talking about with you over the last few weeks as part of our Many Types Same Fight campaign. Well, from not knowing and not wanting to know 